Hello everyone, thanks for tuning to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's first video. Uh, so day 10 will take us to around the 4th of February and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video as always for the next four weeks which will take us into the second half of February uh, of course. Going to have Ensembles Watch coming up for you tonight. So around sort of half seven, eight o'clock. Uh, yes, we'll have a look at the GFS Ensembles. I think I haven't done one of those for a little while. So have a look at, uh, at Ensembles Watch for, uh, for you know, look for cold weather for early February. And that'll be coming up, uh, as I say, this evening. Right, let's get on with the uh, 10 to 14 uh, day event. So uh, we're going to start off uh, with this tweet from uh, UK Met Office, put out five hours ago. Uh, they're saying a very hashtag cold start this morning, with several sites falling close to minus 10. It was also the coldest night wind so far in Wales, or so far for Wales. Uh, so there we go, look at that, several stations go down to minus uh, 9 degrees over probably quite deep snow cover, 9.7 at Cates Bridge in Northern Ireland, 9.2 at Top Cliff, uh, minus 9.0 at Sutton at Bonington, and minus 7 at Senny Bridge uh, as well. Uh, that would be rounded up to minus 10, I suppose. So, yeah, really cold night uh, over snow cover last night with, with a pretty severe frost. It's going to be very frosty again uh, tonight for a time, but it will start to turn a bit milder in the west anyway later in the night as cloud and rain starts moving from off the Atlantic. It's cold out there at the moment. These are the uh, latest temperature uh, observations from uh, XC Weather. So the highest temperature is down in the extreme south there, uh, southwest at St Mary's in the Isle of Scilly um, with a uh, temperature of 7 degrees. But generally it's uh, colder than that, what's well, just refreshing. <laughs> generally it's colder, colder than that, it's minus 2 still at, uh, at uh, Cattle Dirk, uh, Castle Dirk that is, um, in uh, Northern Ireland. Um, barely above freezing for most parts of England. So Bedford is at just one degree. Church Lawford at just one degree. Wittering is still uh, reported to be at minus one. Um, Lake and Heath at one degree. Hull Beach at one degree. Norwich is up to three degrees. That's a little bit milder as you go close to the coast. Um, Lynham is at two degrees. Coming down to the south coast, we've got Bournemouth at five. Uh, Lyd is at five degrees. Plymouth is at 6, so a little bit milder down in the far uh, southwest. Cold Rose is at 7 degrees. Up into uh, Wales, Lake Vermey is at 2, and Rail is at 5, a little bit milder again around the coast. Warcop is at 5 degrees, heading into northern England, southern Scotland. Uh, Jamalbean is at 2 degrees, and then further north still, Aviemore is at 3, and Outhar is at 2, and then down into northern Ireland again, we've got Belfast at just 1 degree. So it's pretty cold uh, out there, minus temperatures are around the coast and in the far west and southwest, but it's barely above freezing from most parts of central and eastern England. There's another couple of hours worth of um, of uh, warming to go uh, uh, so there will be a slow fall of lying snow through the early part of this afternoon but then as soon as it starts uh, becoming uh, close to dust you're going to find the temperature dropping the, the fall will stop and in fact uh, a lot of the, the snow that still remains and also where the snow has melted and it's, and it's returned to um, to just water, uh, that is all going to start freezing up through the uh, late afternoon and early evening. So if you're off out and about uh, in the evening or overnight, then do take care. It will become very frosty and icy until uh, later on in the night when cloud and rain will arrive uh, from the west. And that could turn to snow tomorrow across the northern half of the country. Right, so uh, this is how the temperature is looking. So, of course, all of this cold weather over weekend has had an effect on the CT, where it's now standing at 3.2, an anomaly of half a degree below average, as provisional to the 24th, yesterday of January. Of course, we've got to, uh, last night's very cold temperatures to add on to that uh, as well, and also um, today's cold temperatures, tonight's cold temperatures, so, so that's going to drop further, probably drop into the upper twos, I would have thought, and then probably start to rise again later on in the coming week as it will turn milder, wetter and windier once more.
These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go of weeks. Looking at London today, uh, red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off cold still. At the moment, of course, we've got milder weather to come through the middle and second half of this week. The uh, temperatures are going to get uh, milder. In fact, it could, it could become very mild down in the far south and southwest for a time around uh, sort of uh, Thursday, Friday. Um, might get very, very mild down in the southwest before becoming cooler again over the weekend. Uh, through the first week of February into second week of February now, looking uh, colder again. So uh, it looks like we will be turning things colder as we push on into the weekend and then beyond that into next week, generally looking pretty cold. There's a milder interlude again appearing around there, perhaps sometime around uh, the 2nd and the 3rd of February before it starts getting colder once more. There are a few very cold outliers appearing. Uh, these are just here. Again, they remain outliers at the moment. Um, but just generally quite a cold scene, I think, through the first week of February. We'll have a look at Ensembles Watch later to establish um, what GFS Ensembles are forecasting for the first week of uh, February. Precipitation-wise, uh, going to be relatively dry in the east today and tomorrow. Then it starts turning much more unsettled and just regular precipitation spikes coming through um, from around Wednesday onwards, Tuesday, Wednesday onwards, right way through uh, to, to the beginning of uh, February, really looking quite unsettled. And as it's going to get colder again through early February, some of those precipitation spikes could well be producing snow. Temperature anomaly is on the 25th of uh, January to the 2nd of February. Cold and average for Scotland. It never really turns milder uh, across Scotland, actually. Scandinavia looking very cold, by the way, the week ahead. Um, but the Scotland never really turns milder. A little bit colder there. England and Wales, amateur of uh, Northern Ireland and the Republic. Um, just generally a little bit above average, however. Precipitation anomaly is on the 25th of January to the 2nd of February. Above average. Uh, through through uh, the UK and through Ireland as well. Right then, so this our latest wind flow map is looking from EarthNollSchool.net today. So we're still cold uh, today. We're still drawing in the air from the north. Look, it's long fetch northerly, all the way from Svalbard down towards Iceland and Greenland. Proper long fetch north east. If it was tapping into that area, it would be extremely cold. We're sort of tapping into like like an, a modified northerly air mass. We have got milder air in the Atlantic waiting in the wings to, to try and get in. Um, so, yeah, it's cold today, but it will start getting milder uh, from tomorrow onwards, or less cold probably from tomorrow onwards. But these cold northerly northeast winds are not going to be all that far away. Uh, I've got a little bit of refreshing, so I'll just pause the uh, video, refresh your tabs, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, tabs refresh, we're back. Uh, so this is how the UK Met is looking for Thursday. Low pressure will be coming in off the Atlantic on Thursday, trying to drag up milder air from off the Atlantic. It is struggling, uh, this low pressure, to move in. It's moving into cold air, sitting to the north and the east. And so we have got an elongation in the isobars here, telling us that the front associated with that low pressure is, is really struggling to uh, push in. Actually, that's a little bit wrong. So the position of the front, uh, midnight is through there, really. And it is struggling to push in uh, uh, as the cold air is trying to uh, carry on from the north and the east. There may be some snow involved in that, actually, for northern areas around the middle part of the week. By uh, Friday... Midnight Thursday, Friday, low pressure has uh, has pushed through. So for England and Wales, it is milder. But Scotland, we've still got we've still got wind in from the east, actually. So still pretty cold uh, for Scotland uh, on Friday. It never really turns milder up there. And then by Saturday, we actually start to draw in those cold northerly northeasterly winds again. Um, as low pressure begins to sink sink away to the south, so becoming colder over the weekend. That's midnight on Sunday, as far as we get to with the UK Met. Looking cold under a ridge of high pressure, low pressure out to the Atlantic. That's going to try and bring the next batch of wet and windy weather in uh, from the west. Of course, that's going to come up against the cold air. So, so we wait and see what happens next. As far as we go to the UK Met, let's have a look at GFS 6Z. Uh, then this is latest GFS run. So uh, once again on uh, Thursday, we've got this uh, system pushing in from off the Atlantic. A little bit further northwards with this system, not struggling as much. But there's a bit of an elongation in the ice bars through there. But the stall looks like it's generally happening to our north and uh, to our east. 
by Friday, that low pressure moving away to the east. We started to draw down colder air from the north again. Uh, into the weekend, we're under a ridge of high pressure. We're getting cold winds have gone back into the north and to the northeast. By Sunday, uh, next batch of wet and windy weather with this low is sweeping in from off the Atlantic. That's been further wet and uh, windy weather. And that takes us through to the beginning of next week as well. Looking very unsettled, low pressure driving in from off the uh, Atlantic Ocean into the opening days of February. Eventually, through next week, we start to draw down some colder air from the north again as the low pressure exits away into the North Sea. We begin to turn the wind into the north. So as we move up towards day 10, we've gone colder again uh, with low pressure and the jet stream beginning to dig back southwards once more. In the extended range with this GFS run, again, it looks quite cold, uh, really high pressure generally sitting to our north. Uh, northwest low pressure generally to our south winds more or less coming in from the north or east direction of course the devil's in the detail but it looks like it could be quite cold uh, as we go further on mid-atlantic ridge there uh, going into very extended range with the jfs 6 edge drawing down quite cold air uh, from the north um, and we finish up uh, by 10th of february as far as we go with a GFS 6Z with high pressure just sinking a little bit further south. Was trying to bring something a bit milder in around the top. Notice heights rising over Scandinavia. Still those hints are there for a Scandinavian high at some point through uh, February. Uh, GM looks like this. Uh, so this is midnight on Thursday. Again, with this one, the uh, allegation in the ice bars, but still at the front is further southwards and eastwards. So that front is having a job to get in. Uh, midweek, but it does eventually break through. And away from Scotland, anyway, it turns uh, milder. Scotland remains actually in cold east northeast winds. Most places are a little bit less cold in the second half week, or a little bit milder uh, with low pressure dominating the weather. But not for long. By uh, by the end of the weekend, well, by the middle of the weekend, it's a midnight Sunday. The low pressure is moving away to the east. Back comes those winds from the north and from the northeast uh, once again. And then the GM actually turns quite cold. Um, and has a real battle going on. So this is early next week with high pressure setting up over Scandinavia. Low pressure out in the Atlantic. Uh, this is probably bringing snow to many parts of the country. There's a weather front through here that's really, really struggling to push in. Uh, against those cold winds uh, trying to move in from the east. So the GM looks quite snowy through the early part of next week. It does actually have the Scandinavian high winning that battle. So by day 10, the high pressure over Scandinavia has taken over and the wind is in from an easterly uh, direction. Uh, the GFS does not show that, and uh, so, so it's probably an outlier. But but yeah, the, the GM uh, through sort of days 8, 9, 10 does have the Scandinavian high winning and bring us easy winds that would be snowy uh for next week and then the ecmwf looking like this um once more that front is struggling uh, to move into the country uh wednesday to thursday there is an allegation in the isobars through here that shows that the front is struggling uh to push in against the cold air sitting to our north and northeast and uh, and so an area of low pressure actually actually develops along that front and sort of uh, shifts southwards with winds again remaining from from a cold sort of easterly type direction so so my is really strong with the ecm uh, this week to, to get any sort of ascendancy still cold into the weekend winds remaining from an east or northeast direction low pressure down to the southwest could bring some snow to more southern and southwestern parts of the country by saturday on this scenario winds again uh, moving in from the north northeast then we're in the reach of high pressure for sunday that will keep us cold uh, as well before low pressure returns next week this low pressure further north in the atlantic so it's probably bringing milder weather or less cold weather um, through the course of next week and uh, the ecm up to day 10 generally westerly less cold um, not mild particularly, but generally less cold and westerly with showers on the spells rain, probably still cold enough for snow up in the north. Notice heights are relatively high uh, up to the northeast around Svalbard, so those hints of something happening from like a Scandinavian high perspective do go on. This is a big precipitation type forecast based on that ECM run from Tometeo.com. So uh, we're going to be bringing a band of rain in from the Atlantic tomorrow. That will turn to snow across the northern half of the country. Rain uh, further southwards. A little bit of sleep moving over to the eastern side uh, of the country. Then quieter on Wednesday. And then into Thursday in comes this next uh, area of low pressure weather front. This one really struggling. So turning to snow. 
quite widely with that actually big survey taking place from southwest Scotland all the way down to like East Anglia through the Midlands through northern England heavy snow through there rain further south and southwest that pushes through and then after that we go more towards um, drier weather for the weekend but with risk of some winter showers running around the east coast next week uh, initially some snow again for the northern half of the country before we uh, shift much more towards rain um, through next week with the uh, ECM uh, towards day 10 we've gone back much more towards rain these are the options on the table in the ECM ensemble today for day 10 gets us to the 4th of February this coming from the Icelandic Met Office of course 14 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid-Atlantic uh, ridge and low pressure over and just to the west of the country winds are in from the westerly uh, direction so that's less cold or milder and unsettled 13 uh, just here again with low pressure over country winds in from something of a westerly direction nine uh, have low pressure over slightly more to the south of the country with higher pressure ridging to the north that's trying to pull back uh, that's trying to pull back uh, cold winds from the north again seven just here with low pressure to our south southwest high pressure over scandinavia that's trying to get wind into the east five with low pressure right over top of the country that's going to be very unsettled and three with low pressure uh, over and to the west of the country heights are rising over Scandinavia um, probably probably most of those ensemble members despite a fair amount of blocking um, are unsettled and not overly cold at day 10 actually most of them are, are more Atlantic based with the air mass However, it's a different story when we get to two weeks out. This gets us to the 9th of February. Have 12 members of the ECM ensembles with extensive northern blocking from Greenland to Scandinavia. And we'll be bringing in winds from an east or northeast direction. That's obviously going to be uh, cold. 11 with a mid-Atlantic ridge going up to Greenland. Low pressure sitting to our east. That will be drawing down north or northeast winds. That's going to be cold. Another 11 with high pressure just towards uh, the north of Scotland. Winds again come around that high pressure from the east. That's going to be cold. Nine with high pressure again blocking from Greenland to uh, the Arctic. Low pressure over the country. That will be drawing in cold winds from the northeast. Of course, the low pressure could provide snow. Four have uh, high pressure just to our southwest. So that's going to be drawing in like a west northwesterly type pattern but probably be the, the mildest solution and then another four with high pressure just blocking throughout the normal latitudes uh really on our side of the arctic low pressure to our south winds will be coming in from the east nearly all of those ensembles are looking cold as we get into the second week of uh february so although february may start off relatively atlantic driven and not overly cold looks like we'll be back into northerly and easy winds as we go further on into february cms v2 finally these are 500 millibar heights breaking down into week periods the first week period takes from 25th to the 31st of january the coming week will have low pressure in off the atlantic high pressure down towards spain it is trying to get a little bit milder and it's turning unsettled as well it will stay unsettled and try to get a bit milder uh, week two is the 1st to the 7th of February. Again, low pressure through the country. Heights rising uh, in the Norwegian Sea. High pressure down towards Spain as well. So this is uh, this is a, like a battle type thing. Try to keep uh, minor winds going from the Atlantic, but also try to draw in uh, colder air from the north and from the northeast. Week three is going to be the 8th to the 14th of February. High pressure men blocking. Uh, to our north winds will be back in from the east that's going to be going much colder if it comes off and then uh, week four is going to be the 15th to 21st of february blocking from greenland into the arctic low pressure across northern and western europe winds in from a cold or even a very cold northeasterly source um back into uh, really wintry conditions for much of northern and western Europe through the middle part of February. Temperature anomalies uh, for week one from the 25th to 31st of January. Uh, a bit cold average from the north, a little bit mild average down in the south. 
Week two is the 1st of the 10th of February. No better than average, really, with the temperature anomaly uh, there. Now, I'm not sure about week three. This is the 8th to the 14th of February. It shows a little bit mild average of Scotland. I think that would be a considerably cold and average week based on the position of the blocking. And then week four is uh, 15th, 21st of February. And that one is also uh, cold and average. And, of course, we're in agreement about that. I think week three and week four would both be considerably below average. Precipitation on lastly, uh, week one, 25th to 31st January, wetter than average. It's going to be a rather milder or less cold and uh, quite wet week coming up. Week two, 1st to 7th of February. Uh, again, hints have been a bit above average uh, with the rainfall. Week three is turning drier, 8th to the 14th of February, becoming drier uh, then. And week four also looks relatively dry, but of course it is cold and any precipitation that falls in week four, 15th to the 21st of February, will be uh, likely to be falling as snow. If you enjoyed this uh, video, then please can you smash the like button? Let YouTube know you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. You'll be able to see future weather content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends and family and everybody else about Gaz Weathers. Get them to subscribe as well. We're on the grind to 11k subs. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this video. Right, that's it then. So uh, it looks like we're going to be getting colder again as we go into February. It's just a case of when the cold uh, comes back. Um, but a little bit less cold uh, in the coming days and uh, through, through the last through the last stage of uh, January. We're going to be back later on with Ensembles Watch. So I shall see you this evening for that. For this one though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.